Hello everybody, welcome back to our lesson. We are still discussing about quadratic equations in one variable. We talk about solving quadratic equations and we are done with factoring square root property and completing the square. For this video, I am going to talk about the quadratic formula. The derivation of the quadratic formula is already in your module. Please refer to that. I will just state here that the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So if a quadratic equation is written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c, we just need to identify the values of a, b, and c and plug in or substitute these values into this formula to solve for the values of x okay so we shall illustrate the use of the quadratic formula in this example so we are going to use the quadratic formula to find the solution set of the equation 6x squared equals 10 plus 11x as you can see the given equation is not yet written in standard form so our first step here is to write this one in standard form Okay, so we can write it as 6x squared minus 11x minus 10 equals 0. Okay, and then we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So we have a is equal to 6, this one. b is equal to negative 11. And c is equal to negative 10. Okay. So these are the values of a, b, and c. We just need to plug in these values in the formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay? So if we plug in those values, we have x is equal to negative of negative 11. Okay, that's plus or minus square root of b squared so that's negative 11 squared minus 4 times a is 6 and then c is negative 10 all over 2a so that's 2 times 6 okay so uh, simplifying we have negative of negative 11 is positive 11, and then that's plus or minus square root of. So we have 11 squared, that's 121. Negative 4 times 6 times negative 10 becomes, um, that's 361. So that's square root of 361. Square root of 361 all over 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so we have two values of x in this case. Uh, yeah, but square root of 361 is 19. So we can rewrite this further as 11 plus or minus 19 all over 12. So the two values of x here, we have x is equal to 11 plus 19 all over 12, which is equal to 30 over 12, and that's uh, 5 over 2. Okay. And the second one, we have x is equal to 11 minus 19 all over 12. So 11 minus 19 is uh, negative 8 over 12. That's negative 2 thirds. Okay, so we have negative 2 thirds. Okay, these are the values of x. Therefore, the solution set, the solution set is. Okay, we write the smaller number first, so that's negative 2 thirds and positive 5 over 2. So that is the answer for this problem. Okay, we will answer one more problem. Okay, we have used the quadratic formula to find the solution set of the equation. We have x squared plus 5 over 3x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so this one is not yet written in standard form because of 
the fraction 5 over 3. We can rewrite this by multiplying 3 to the equation. If we multiply 3 to this equation, it becomes 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. Uh, I mean plus 3 equals 0. Okay, plus 3. We need to multiply 3. So plus 3 equals 0. Okay. And then uh, we identify the values of A, B, and C. A is equal to 3. B is equal to 5. And C is equal to 3. Then we substitute in the formula, in the quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay so we substitute that's negative of 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times 3 all over 2 times 3, 2a, okay? So, x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus, that's 25 minus, uh, that's 24, right? So, that's 25 minus 36, it's negative 11. 25 minus 36 is negative 11. So, that's square root of negative 11 all over 6 okay so we have two values of x but uh, as you can see inside the uh, radical sign we have a negative number that means this is a complex number so we can rewrite this further as negative 5 plus or minus uh, i is square root of 11 all over 6 okay so uh, therefore, we can write this as uh, negative 5 plus minus i square root of 11 over 6. As I think that's the this is the answer now. So we can write the solution set. The solution set is negative 5 plus or minus i square root of 11 over 6 uh, but if it's required to write the solution set uh, with separate elements so we have we have negative 5 plus i square root of 11 over 6 and negative 5 minus i square root of 11 over 6 okay so that's it for the quadratic formula. Okay, so I hope you you learned all the techniques in solving for the solution of a quadratic equation. See you in the next video.